Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make this effect that you see in Adobe Photoshop. Um, let's jump right into it. First off, we're gonna import our image into Photoshop and you can just drag and drop that in. I'm going to resize it. I got this image from pexels.com. Next, we're going to duplicate our layer and you can do that by pressing Command or Control J. Otherwise, just drag onto this plus sign over here and it will make a copy of it. We're gonna to toggle the top layers visibility for now and select our bottom copy. Next, we are going to select our favorite tool, the smudge tool. You can, you can see you have this like do not enter sign. That, that's basically because we can't use this tool with a smart object. So just click on the image and it will ask you to rasterize it and you're gonna press okay. Next, you can just choose the size of your smudge tool. You can do that either by holding down control option and clicking and dragging left or right. Uh, otherwise, you can just go here in the brush settings and adjust the size. And once you're happy with the size of your brush, just go ahead and start smudging all the way. Kind of something like that. Next, we're gonna turn toggle the visibility on our top layer and select it then just click this little icon which is the layer mask icon to add a layer mask and we're going to grab our brush tool now make sure you're set on black as your foreground ground color and we're going to basically remove and paint away the part of the face stretch but this way you can decide where you want your effect to show and where you don't want it to show and a really cool thing about using layer mask is if I mess up over here and I went through the phone, I can just go with a white on as a foreground color and that will kind of work as an eraser. So that's pretty neat. Anyways, you can be really precise on this. So whenever we're close to the phone, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make sure I'm using a smaller brush so I can be more precise. By the way, I'm doing this on my trackpad, so if I can do that on the trackpad, then you can do it as well. I Basically, that's all I did. I For the really final result, I just converted everything to a smart object, and then I obviously went and added a gradient map, something like this, I'm guessing, and then I changed the blending mode to saturation, and lower the opacity a little bit and uh, yeah that's basically all i did that's all it is and now this technique can be applied to a bunch of things so go play around with this tool and experiment and tag me in the stuff you make using this make sure to check out the links in the description down below there's going to be linked to my instagram my gradient map packs and my texture packs and a bunch of good stuff so go check that out and i'll see you guys soon bye